here with Kathy Reese at IBM, your partner in advanced analytics in the services organization. We've talked offline about a number of things that are going on at IBM and with your clients adopting advanced analytics. Maybe we could talk for a minute about the business value that they see that are, that's driving them to continuous intelligence solutions. All the industries are looking at this continuous intelligence. Mm -hmm. I think about one um, company we worked with, Groupama. They're an insurance company in, in Italy. And they knew even a couple years ago that te telematics was the way to be able to serve their customers even better in the future. Yep. So they invested heavily in that. And they brought us on board a couple years ago to help build them the platform. How are they going to be able to stream in this telematics data and then quickly match it up to claims data to be able to process claims faster? or even to be able to stream the data in and understand if someone's been in an accident or understand if there's some fraud or the car has been stolen. Being able to ingest the important data and then you know, use it throughout the enterprise is a way to keep in continuous intelligence kind of right. forming to help serve the clients better. So the cost is just more reflective of their actual individual case rather than some broad class that they're part of. If they can serve the customer at a lower cost, then they can lower you know, mm -hmm. the price that they charge out to their clients and it's a win-win for everyone. So the trouble with telematics data was before that it kind of sat in a silo by itself. There are some insurance companies that I've worked with where it was more of a marketing thing. And so they never even used it. They never even shared that data with the actuaries. So what we really had to do was come up with a platform like um, IBM Cloud Pack for Data to be able to bring together the historical data, the streaming in telematics data, the customer service data, the policy data, so people can actually make real-time decisions mm -hmm. off of that information. I think technology is evolving so fast, and mm -hmm. our clients are really worried about that. They're not really sure where to invest. We're helping them build the right flexible architectures to be able to you know, meet the use cases of today, yep. but also think about how they're gonna meet the use cases of tomorrow. I think having you know IBM Cloud Pack for Data, you know, along with the data platform and everything, all the tools that are offered and available as part of that package solution, is one way that we're really helping our clients solve for that problem. It takes a little bit of the anxiety out of that decision making as they're going through this huge investment and this huge transformation. So even if you're only using a few of the features today, you can be comfortable that you can build on that going forward. Absolutely. Okay, and in Cloud Pack. Uh, it's obviously uh, something that's coming up a lot as I talk to people at IBM. Everybody seems excited about it. Uh, maybe just talk a little bit, since you're in the services side, um, as you're developing systems and um, the frameworks for your clients, how much of that are you able to reuse and leverage in other engagements? Yeah, I'm working with a lot of clients who have kind of been stuck in this proof of concept world. Mm -hmm. they, they run a lot of experiments, they find answers to questions, but they're not actually getting those models all the way up into production, and really industrialized throughout the enterprise. Right. So we're working with them to help build some common frameworks of how to build analytics and build assets and models so they're repeatable, mm -hmm. reusable, and they actually drive, they're actionable. They actually right. drive outcome. And we're not continually rebuilding things over and over and over again. Right. Or we're not hard coding things on our laptops and not sharing them with the other data scientists mm -hmm. within the organization. So we've come up with a framework to help them build that. We use the IBM Cloud Pack for data with Watson Studio to be able to help uh, get those models shared appropriately, auto uh, auto AI to be able to mm -hmm. do some of the data science for us, yeah. and even OpenScale to be able to to watch for bias and to train retrain the models and to be able to understand what's happening to them once they're in production. You bring up bias, that's obviously a really hot area right now. Um, is that something that clients are asking about or are you sort of proactively saying, here's something to be aware of? I mean, I think yeah. if you look at insurance as one of the examples, um, you can think off the top of your head of a lot of ways that uh, the data could be biased. So, Absolutely. I mean, ethical AI is something that we're really working you know, very closely with our clients on. They want to make sure they're, they're monitoring, monitoring the models for bias because mm -hmm. we inherently all have it. Yeah. So to be able to use software to be able to manage that I think is important. And even just to manage the models for, for drift or, or things that kind of can start them going off awry. So using some tools to help clients do that is something mm -hmm. that they're very interested in, in talking to us about. Yeah, the idea of drift is fascinating to me. And when you talk about continuous intelligence, 
drift is something that you have to be looking for, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people really need trust. Trust is mm -hmm. an essential part of where we're going with, you know, with AI. Yeah. You've got to be able to trust in the data. Customers have to be able to trust in you that you're going to manage their data the right way. Mm -hmm. So trust is, is a core part of doing that. All right. Well, thank you. It's been good. Thanks. Thank you.